Hello guys, in this video we're gonna make a gun for the character, so you have something to shoot with. Uh, gonna be easy task actually, and let's begin by making an uh, actual gun, and we're gonna use not gun, but a hand of the character that looks like a gun, and I think it's very cute, so we're gonna use this one, I like the idea. Let's take this inner fist sprite sheet and take this sprite with a finger pointing out, and I'm gonna drag it to the scene like so. Now we have a gun, and I'm gonna rename it to gun, and make a child of the player, like so. And I'm gonna place it maybe right here, and now you'll see if I'll go to play mode and run around, my gun gonna move together with the character, like so. Which is pretty cool, but that's not all what I want to do. I want him to spin around the character, and I want him to be pointing in the direction of a mouse. So, to do that, first we need a script for a gun controller that's gonna have mouse position and we're gonna check direction between a mouse position and position of a gun and it will allow us to rotate the gun how we want to. So, let's just create a script. Gun controller. And I think we can just put it on the character here. And let's go inside. I'm gonna delete start, but I'm gonna keep update. And first of all, we want to have a public transform. Actually, let's make serialized field, private transform, gun. And let's do animator at the same time. So we can set up animation of a shooting, right? So we're gonna do serialized field, private animator, anim. Actually, let's do gun anim. Okay, what else do we need? Um, as of now, I think it's okay. Let's go to update and we're gonna get position of a mouse, which is very easy to do. You're gonna type vector three, mouse pause equals two, and we can do camera main, which will take the main camera we're using, dot screen to world, and this will convert uh, information from screen to world point and then we're gonna do input mouse position now this will give us vector of a mouse like x y and z and next we want to have direction between mouse and position of a gun how do you check direction you need to subtract from mouse position position of a gun so we're gonna do vector 3 direction equals to mouse position minus gun position. And now that we have direction, we can set rotation of a gun. And this one is might be quite confusing with all the formula and stuff. Let's just type it first and then I'll try to explain what it does. But if it doesn't make enough sense, uh, let me know. I'll just, uh, maybe I'll just type some explanation in the Q&A section or I'll touch some link with information, something like that. Gun rotation equals to Cortonian Euler new vector 3, 0, 0, and then math f, attend 2, with a direction y and direction x, and we need to multiply it by math f rad to degrees, radians to degrees. So, first of all, I want to say it can be confusing, and it's, you know, vector math is sometimes super difficult, and I don't even understand it all the time, but like if you know the formula, you know, uh, you, you have a phone, right? And you can use your phone or you can use your computer without knowing how it works. Same here, you can use the formula without knowing how it works and completely fine, it's totally okay. But still, I'll try to explain a bit. So the idea is we're using Quartonian Euler to rotate the gun to set it to position we want to have and it's calculated based on the direction that player wants to aim. And it uses this math at and two. It's a formula that uh, helps you to calculate angle between the gun and mouse position so we can rotate it properly. Uh, in simple terms, let's say we rotate in the gun object in the direction of the player's aiming, something like that. And at and two, function calculates angle between the gun object and the mouse pointer and this math f red to degree radians to degree just 
converts the angle from radians to degrees, which is kind of like computer understands them better. Yeah, I hope it explains it somehow. And let's move on. Now what we want to have is shooting of a gun. And since we're here in the code, let's just make a function public void shoot. And we're not going to do anything but trigger the animator. So let's do gun anim set trigger shoot, something like that. And in the update, we can do if input get key down, key code mouse zero, then shoot. Now let's save this all and go to Unity. Save back in Unity. And before we continue, I want to say thanks to all of my Patreons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy, Steven and Gennady, Chen Son, and Retrobat Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. Here we need to assign gun as a transform and we need animator on this gun. So let's go to animations, make a folder for gun, make animator controller, gun HC. Now we're going to put it on like so. And we need two animations here. First, we need a gun idle. You can go to graphics, find the hand and just drag this one. And then we're going to create new clip, gun shoot. And we're going to take the hand that is highlighted and separate output 10. Now let's go to animator over here of the gun. We have gun idle by default. We need to make a parameter, trigger, shoot, make sure name is the same as we have over here. So this one should be the same, okay? And then we make transition, if trigger called, shoot, exit time and check, duration zero, and then transition back with the exit time of one. No transition duration, no condition, nothing. All right, now let's try. We're supposed to have rotating gun that is highlighted when you press shoot button, which is left mouse key. Okay, so now it rotates to the mouse, really cool. And we press, aha, uh -huh. need to assign animator. Over here, assign animator, let's try again. Okay, cool, right? Now we have some more work to do with this one, but I want to chop videos so it's easier to find uh, in the course. So let's finish this video and talk in the next. Thanks for watching. Rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly. Subscribe not to miss that. Check my website for more courses. Ask your questions in the comments below. And remember, we don't play games. We make them.